Hey guys, it's your girl Juliet and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're doing well, that you're striving to be the best you can be, and that you're enjoying life along the way. So today's video is about how I gave my pothos a facelift and turned it from this to that. So I basically filled it in and uh, gave it a fuller head. So let's not forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video and feel free to comment um, and anything how I can make my videos better. If you have any video requests, let me know. All right, guys. I have to say that there was a little mishap when I was recording the cutting of the vine that I used to propagate um, the po the pothos. Um, so unfortunately, I don't have that footage for you showing you how I did that um, and why I chose that particular vine or why I did anything really my bad. Um, but here I'm just showing you where I cut it off, and um, I'm also showing showing you a new shoot um, or a new growth that is uh, coming out of the side from that same vine that I cut off so as you can see my pot is pretty bare um, there are you know it looks like about two stems really that's growing um, out of this pot and all you see is soil so I just needed to fill this in I wanted it to be a fuller pothos a fuller plant and um, so I decided to to do this uh, this test all right guys take a look at my propagations so this is coming from that one vine that I cut off and I cut into several pieces and um, it took me about it took about three weeks to get it to, to this date where um, you know there were roots growing um, to that length um, so I decided it was time to get it into the pot so that um, it doesn't get used to being in water So I started off um, using a spoon, a plastic spoon, and I started off using the wrong end. You guys don't do it that way. Um, use the um, the handle end so that you ensure um, or you make sure that you don't cut off any of the roots that's in the soil. Um, this will just uh, give you a little safety there. But um, basically what I did was lifted as much of the soil as, a, as possible, um, trying not to uproot any of the roots. Um, just so that I can put my propagations in. I went through my propagations to take a look at the roots to see how long they were to see you know what was happening with them and um, at the end of the day I ended up using all of my propagations in the pot even the one with the shortest root I actually decided to test out um, test it out and see if it's a viable vine um, and if it's gonna grow or if it's gonna die just so that I know for the future how long or how short um, or what the minimum length the root should be to be able to survive um, when you're repotting the propagations one positive thing that I did notice is that every single one of my propagations had offshoots growing from them so that was definitely a positive sign I then went ahead and placed my propagations into the soil, lifting gently and placing them and ensuring that the roots were in the soil and not sticking out.
I also try to pay attention to the positioning of my stem um, in relation to the offshoot that was growing from it. Um, I was trying to manipulate it um, as much as possible so that it grew a certain way or that it would grow a certain way. But as we know, I mean, nature does its own thing. So who knows how this is going to grow. That last piece was the propagation with the shortest root. Um, at that point, I had decided to just put it in and see what happens. Let's just go with the flow. Once all my propagations were placed into the pot, I added some more soil just to ensure that um, all of my roots were covered and so that they'd be able to um, get the moisture when once I uh, watered the pot. The next step is to give your pot a good watering and make sure that the soil is nice and moist. This will ensure that your propagations don't get a shock from going from the water medium into a soil, me soil medium. And um, for the next couple of weeks or so, make sure that the soil remains moist um, so that uh, you know they stay alive. At least try to. I'm just cleaning off the leaves right now with some neem oil solution. This is how I generally clean my leaves. I spray them down with neem oil, the neem oil solution, and then wipe them down. Just to get the dirt off of the leaves so that they could photosynthesize properly. as I said earlier were um, cut from this same plant with it once you've transplanted your cuttings so you don't pull them out. But as I said um, earlier, 
all of these propagations were cut from this one vine right over here I cut it and I cut them up into pieces put them in water it's been about three weeks now that I had them in water and I've put them back in now and Artois is well we just gotta wait now for him to fill up or fill out the pot with its new growth because y'all saw the new growth on each of these uh, propagations just cleaning up like I said cleaning up my pot and I have to do a thorough cleaning later on wash it off just run it under some water It's all done, ready to be put back. Actually, I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit and cut this one piece off. I gotta invest in some gardening clippers, guys. But whatever, scissors, or utensil that you use to cut your plants. Make sure you sanitize them before you use them. So that piece is gone. Oh, there's a piece under here that is still dirty. Mom, that's so dirty too. Mm -hmm. Here you have it, Artois, full of propagations of itself or of himself. And so now we just gotta keep a watch and keep the soil moist for at least the next couple of weeks. Not soaked, but moist so that it doesn't get a shock from going from the water medium to Mom, it's not just strong. to just the soil medium all right so I'll keep y'all posted thanks for watching guys hope y'all have a good day all right and don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you're not already doing so thanks for watching again bye